Hello and welcome to the Modern Guard YouTube channel. So today I'm going to run you through how I retip my pool cue. Firstly, you're going to need a knife with a sharp blade, Q-tip, piece of flat sandpaper, piece of slim sandpaper, tip shaper, tip clamp for when you're gluing. The glue itself, I use Gorilla Glue, and then a flat surface to work on. What you need to do is get your sharp knife and remove the old tip that's still on the cube and also making sure you remove any glue residue left on. Uh, with this still on will cause the new tip not to stick to the ferrule. I go over with a piece of sandpaper to remove any possible contaminants left on. What I then do is I prep the new tip going on by doing a figure of eight motion on the flat sandpaper. This will enable the glue to key to the new tip when sticking it onto the ferrule. Moving on to applying the new tip. So what I do is I get the glue, I give a good dosing of glue onto the, the wooden ferrule. I spread it around evenly. From there I get the new tip and carefully place its centre to the ferrule. I then get the tip clamp and put the tip clamp on for pressure, pulling down and also then putting the clamp a circle around the cube. After a period of time, around 10 to 15 minutes I leave it, your glue will be cured and it will be time to start shaping your tip. Okay, so this is the tricky bit, this is where you have to start shaping a tip. First of all I cut round the tip, uh, it overhangs the ferrule a little bit because I buy a larger tip than the cube. This enables me to cut round to get a nice clean finish ferrule to tip. Cut half of the tip down. This enables for better shaping. I don't particularly like playing with a high tip. This is where I start shaping it. So I get the flat piece of sandpaper, I curl it up a little bit in my hands, and I basically just do one motion downwards and shape round the tip. I do this through duration to get the tip in a nice, even. Once I've done this, I then get that thin piece of sandpaper and I go around the edge of the tip. This enables it to get a nice, uh, cleaner finish on the, the, the edges of the tip. Once that's done, I then get my tip shaper. To, this basically shapes the tip gets it down to the required playing height that you play with. What I then do is apply the finishing touches which is a little bit more shaping. I then get a, I use a mat and I go around the edges of the Q-tip. This enables you to buff the sides of the tip so it helps with to prevent chalk sticking to the sides of the tip but also gives them a much cleaner finish and edge. I'd like to thank you for watching the modern guy on retipping his cube. 